the know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Gus Sirola. After less than a month on the market, Samsung is recalling all of its 2.5 million Galaxy Note 7 phones shipped around the world to replace them with versions that hopefully explode less. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, the company issued the recall a little over a week ago, but that hasn't stopped people from still using it in the wild, which has resulted in more than 35 incidents of fiery doom and counting, including two from this past weekend alone. It's gotten so bad that Samsung is now begging people to please, for the love of God, stop using your Galaxy Note 7. That's gotta be a tough message to convey. Uh, Samsung's new update on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 recall was posted over the weekend where they asked consumers to quote, power down your device and return to using your previous phone. We will voluntarily replace your Galaxy Note 7 device with a new one beginning on September 19th. You know it's bad when they start desperately urging their customers to just use a different phone altogether. Don't care, we don't care what it is, just whatever it was, Go back to it. The statement goes on to say, we acknowledge the inconvenience this may cause in the market, but this is to ensure that Samsung continues to deliver the highest quality products to our customers. Well, the other product they're delivering to their customers, high quality fire. Yes. And quite a bit of it actually, as evidenced by the most recent Galaxy Note 7 explosions <laughs> that occurred over the weekend. Uh, the first of the two incidents happened in Florida because that's the nexus of weird shit for our entire galaxy, where one man's phone set fire to his vehicle. Damn. According to reports, he'd left the phone charging in his Jeep's center console when it decided to spontaneously combust and take his car with it. Uh, fortunately, nobody was hurt, but sadly the same can't be said for the second incident of cell phone explodiness from over the weekend. In that it's one- a technical term. <laughs> in that one, the New York Post is reporting that a Galaxy Note 7 blew up in the hands of a six-year-old. The boy was watching videos on the phone when it erupted. He was sent to the hospital for minor burns to his body, but otherwise, Luckily, he seems to be fine, except for the, you know, lifelong fear of mobile devices that will probably haunt him forever. Thank you, Samsung. So basically, this phone is a total menace and must be stopped, and the government agrees. The CPSC, or the Consumer Product Safety Commission, has also been asking people to turn the damn phones off. In their statement from the weekend, the CPSC said that it's also working to determine if Samsung's replacement program is a sufficient solution, or if the entire product line needs to be pulled Whoa, out. Oh, that's, I mean, that's, I, it's a fair question considering that they're exploding, but entire product line is a lot. Uh, for those who are somehow unaware of the recall, uh, Samsung first made the announcement a little over a week ago, writing, our customer's safety is an absolute priority. At the time, they also noted they'd be replacing phones for free. The Note 7 has only been on store shelves since August 19th, so fortunately, uh, you, I mean, I guess you haven't had a lot of time to hurt yourself with it yet. Yep. Uh, the recall came on the heels of an investigation into a number of Galaxy Note 7s that had exploded around the globe. That investigation found that a faulty battery cell cost 24 phones out of every million to be a little more explodey than normal. <laughs> Just there's slightly the, more. There's that term again. Uh, which comes out to about one in every 42,000 phones. Look, that may not sound like a lot. And from a, from a pure decimal perspective, it's really not. But when you're talking about something that can catch fire in your hands, your pants, or blow up your car, you probably don't want to take too many chances. I mean, I can only handle one thing that catches fire in my hand or my pants. Uh, and taking chances is the last thing that anybody is doing with this death phone, because not even airlines want to let people fly on their planes with the Galaxy Note 7s any longer. At the moment, the FAA is considering a ban on the phablets. And that's after a number of Australian airlines have already prohibited from accompanying you on your flight. Actually, got on a flight yesterday, and before boarding, the airline made an announcement saying, if you own this phone, do not turn it on on the plane. Do not plug it into the plane's power. Do not put it in your checked luggage. I was like, wow, that is that is harsh. Especially considering that now everyone else is on their phones, the whole flight going doo, 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 and you're just sitting there going, please don't explode. <laughs> uh, it seems like this is one of those things the FAA probably should have already decided on, but part of the problem is that Samsung hasn't gone through the official channels to institute their recall. Typically, the CPSC is supposed to get involved in the process from the start, but for some reason, Samsung simply communicated the recall to its customers directly rather than through the government. Maybe they were hoping no one would notice cutting the fires. Out, cutting out the middleman. Uh, now a number of organizations are left scrambling as they get their respective investigations underway. So have fun flying. If any of you are wondering if your neighbor's got a Note 7 in their pocket, just waiting to take down you and everyone on board. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> they, that is brutal writing there. <laughs> Eddie! <laughs> uh, the saga of the exploding Samsung phones comes a few months after another similar recall from the summer when the CPSC instituted a recall on half a million hoverboards from more than 10 separate tech companies. Apparently, the hoverboards, which do not in fact hover, and the Note 7 like to blaze it together because nice. that product was also declared defective because of an issue with the lithium ion battery pack. You could, if you really want to be like educated, you're like going down the street on your hoverboard that you're not supposed to have with your phone being like this thing, like 
Any We're, minute, any minute now. Two phones. One that, happen. One that you're like playing games on and one that you're talking on. You double That's your chances. That's right. That's right. Uh, there's never a good time to have your phone do its best Ghost Rider impersonation, but this is especially bad timing for Samsung since the release of the phone came just ahead of Apple's iPhone 7 announcement. Judging by the typical timeline of mobile phone technology, Apple will add exploding to the iPhone sometime in the next couple of years. 2018, you know, maybe. Uh, we were the only company courageous enough to set all your shit on fire. The only one. This would have been a nice time for Samsung to gain ground for the Note 7, which has generally been very well reviewed, but having a hidden blow shit up feature is obviously causing damage to the reputation of the brand and a lot of people who might have considered switching over from iPhone may have decided that losing a jack is nowhere near losing a hand. Possibly. Uh, following Samsung's most recent statement from the weekend, share prices dropped as much as 7% today. That's in Ouch. addition to the $25 billion in valuation that's been removed from Samsung over the last couple weeks since the recall was first rumored and then announced. That's a lot of billions. Billions with a B. That's a lot of money. Uh, according to Samsung, the new replacement phones will be available within the next week or so and shouldn't have the same issue as the one that might already be in your pocket. Here's a friendly PSA for you. If you do have one, please just turn it off. And take it out of your pocket. Are you crazy? <laughs> Although at this point, we'll just have to see how many people are willing to give the Galaxy Note 7 another shake. What do you guys think Careful of Samsung? <laughs> what do you guys think of Samsung's amazing combustible Galaxy Note 7? Let us know in the comments. It's a feature for progress updates on the world's fiery smartphone lines, like this video, and subscribe to The Know. Kinda saved it. Kinda saved it. Kinda saved it. I got off and I was like, no, this can still work. And then it did work. You're like Samsung, you're trying to salvage a disaster. I mean, you know, it won't, it won't it's not gonna blow up or anything, but uh, the, like cold night, bring out the Samsung. Mm -hmm. Just toss it on the fire.